So I wanted to take a moment to talk about introducing negative things into your environment. And this happened with me and, I've, and I've, I've kind of been contemplating on how, what kind of video I would make on this. And what happened in this particular situation is I ended up watching a movie. I ended up watching a movie. It's been recommended to me for a while and I haven't watched it. And finally today, I took a moment to, to get the movie and watch it. And that movie was Divorce Corp. Now, the, the, so what I'm trying to tie this into, or what I want you to think about, is depending on how you are emotionally and where you are, keep positive things in your life. Don't introduce things that you know are going to, to irritate you, stress, cause a PTSD type response. And, uh, and basically, in, in short terms, negatively impact your recovery. Now, I'm doing pretty well in, in you know, everything. I'm pretty good attitude on stuff. Things are going really well. And uh, even with that, watching this movie was very emotionally draining and depressing. Now, it's a little bit bizarre when I think about it because for the most part, I talk about a lot of these things or the realities that are covered in the movie in the videos I make for you guys and in the comments that I answer back and stuff like that. But it's one of those things where even with all of that, sitting through an hour and a half or hour and 34 minutes, I can't remember how long it was, but that type of documentary where it's just driving these points home you know, really showing some tragic stories and the reality of it. And it's incredibly frustrating. So right off the bat, if you're really triggered on all this stuff, I would highly encourage you not to watch the video. The only good part about it is if, if you're thinking that the system is going to be fair. I mean, I talk about this a lot about, you know, going back into family court is like Pandora's box, you know, choose your, your battles wisely. And, be, you know, and really decide what is truly important to fight for because you never really know what's going to happen. Now, I've said that before, and that video basically demonstrates the thing with interviews with judges and retired judges and attorneys and private investigators and, and people who've gone through the process. And it's, uh, I mean, it's tough to watch. Now, that's Part of the reason why a lot of times when I say choose your battles, why I think it's important because you never really know what's going to happen in family court. You think something might be cut and dry. You think it might be obvious. And then I don't know how many times I've heard from friends and associates and people who've even shared their story on this channel who've gone to family court completely expecting a, a particular outcome and they walk out of court with it still could potentially be a victory if you take a big picture view out of it, but it's nothing near where they, they thought that they were going to get or what they needed to get. So sometimes you absolutely have to fight. Sometimes you have no recourse except to go down the process because you, you just have to. Um, but you also have to be really careful, especially when you're dealing with a narcissist. See, that was the thing with this movie that was really troubling is the amount of narcissistic type of people that are involved in this system and the way that the system is, is able to be manipulated and abused for someone's, uh, basically their own personal gain. So, all right. So not to make this a review about that movie, basically I'm saying it's probably better off if you don't watch it, but this rolls into a broader sense of what you allow into your environment. And I know I've talked about this before, but I just thought it would be really good to kind of drive this point home. Surround yourself with things that make you feel good. You know, don't watch movies that are going to make you feel, you know, troubled or depressed or emotionally drained at the end of it. You know, we've all watched those type of movies and sometimes, you know, they can be entertaining, but when you're struggling with a very serious issue like 
recovering from narcissistic emotional abuse and dealing with a toxic ex and having to deal with custody issues with your kids and building a relationship with your kids, the last thing you need to do is add more stress and anxiety into your life. For instance, I was thinking about watching a movie earlier today and I was thinking about that movie with Will Smith about, you know, the, the last man on earth. I can't remember what the movie is, but basically it's kind of like a zombie movie where, where he is, he's stuck in New York trying to find a cure. I watched it way back when, and I was thinking, you know, I haven't seen it in a while. And I, um, and I was trying to look for it. I'm like, you know what? I know the movie's depressing. I know it's stressful. I mean, I remember it being bas basically a good movie, but I'm like, I don't want that in my life right now, and I don't want that to corrupt my my emotions and my feelings. And then I ended up watching this other movie, which pretty much accomplished the same thing. Anyways, my point is, is be cautious or aware, cautious and aware of what you allow into your life. Movies, music, books, anything that makes you feel like basically like crap, don't do. Yeah, hopefully my videos don't fall into that category. But honestly, if they did, then you need to take a break from it. Um, and I think it's it's important because it's like whatever you add in, you kind of drive yourself that direction. So if you're surrounding yourself with positive things and happy things and comedies and and you, you know things that make you feel good and and you know uplifting stories and inspirational stories, you know that that sends you in one direction. Where if you watch something else that's that's completely opposite of that, it's going to send you a different way. So you have a lot of power in the decisions that you make on what you're going to allow in your life that really guide how you're going to feel. So think about that and uh, make wise decisions. And on that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I need to I need to just shut down for the night. And um, I'll chat with you guys in the next video. Take care.